Howdy! Thanks for stopping by the Down South Picking and Stacking channel. If you're a new viewer and you like what you see here, give me a thumbs up. Think about subscribing. Click that subscribe. Click the little bell icon so you get notifications when I get new videos. I know it's been a while since the uh, last video for all my uh, past viewers. We did a drawing. Uh, I've been uh, sick for uh, a little over a couple of weeks and uh, I recorded the drawing back around uh, Veterans Day when we were going to do that. And uh, aside from all the coughing and hacking and all that, I didn't want you guys to have to suffer through all that. <laughs> you know, uh, there's a lot of illnesses going around this time of year and everything. And uh, I seem to catch it. Uh, before Thanksgiving and it carried on through that whole week and I finally got to where I'm just not uh, uh, hacking and carrying on every couple minutes so hopefully I can get through this uh, video and uh, we can uh, all uh, patch in the drawings uh, that I did uh, a couple weeks ago and before we do that, we're going to, uh, I've been waiting to open this for, um, for this video. Uh, this is some, uh, I think there's some mystery. I don't, I don't even remember what all I ordered from here. I know there was some uh, constitutional silver like this in here and uh, a couple other things. Uh, I think there's some... Uh, uh, maybe some, there were some calls or something, so it's kind of maybe a mystery grab bag of stuff here from Hero. I didn't write down the dates I ordered or anything like that. I, like I said, I've been sick, so bear with me, and I apologize for not having that, uh, drawing video as scheduled, but, uh, sometimes things happen, uh, Life happens to us sometimes, and you know, I do these videos for fun and maybe help people out and all that. So, uh, again, I apologize if y'all been waiting for the drawing, but still not a hundred percent. But you know, my uh, philosophy with life and work and getting things done if I can uh, get my pants on in the morning I go to work so I didn't miss any work work <laughs> I managed to get my pants on every day you know at least the days I was scheduled to work we did have quite a bit of off time around Thanksgiving so we uh, did get some uh, some time off to rest while I was sick and everything so here, let's see what all we got. Looks like we got a pack and slip. We got a nice uh, thank you card from Hero, as always. Uh, didn't order a whole lot, so let's see. Oh, wow, got some Canada coins here. Let me look at this pack and slip. I'll see what exactly I ordered. Because I remember ordering any Canada stuff. This is one of those surprises here. Yeah. Uh, I ordered four silver coins. Any mint. Off quality coal. So we got. Uh, and I did order. This. Mexican Libertad. And people call this the. One of those booby coins. Just got. Yeah, she's got some, a uh, uh, little bit of nudity going on there. But this is a beautiful coin. I've been wanting to get one of these, and this is the new issue. They're actually uh, minting these in fractionals as well. But they're still demanding a crazy high premium. And I think I got this at a pretty decent price. It wasn't too high. 
I didn't have one and I'd been looking for one for a while and uh, the price I think was down around the 22s when I placed this order so uh, that shows you how far back it's been and because we've hit way over 25 here th this past week or so and as a gold shot up over uh, 2100 an ounce here uh, this past weekend uh, and that went back down silver and gold's back down today you know I've been putting off purchases for a few days uh, I usually whenever it comes time in my budget to purchase stuff I'll go ahead and buy things and dollar cost average but I had a feeling things would jump back down here before Christmas and I'm probably going to place another order here in the next day or two and we'll have some more unboxings coming along and everything but uh this is a beautiful coin, the Libertad, and I'm glad I finally got one. Uh, that is really nice. Let's see what we got here. These are supposed to be off quality, and uh, I see just a little sh like shading of spotting on them, maybe, uh, or maybe that's just the flip. I don't know. This Canada uh, 2017 five dollar coin with the queen on it, and we got looks like a bobcat. That's pretty cool. Four nines fine. I'm not seeing really much wrong with this, other than there might be a, a couple of little spots in here. But you know, I don't have I don't have any of these. The cat I don't know is this a cat series or something? Because there's a different one here. Yeah, let's see. Oh, that's really nice. Nice. They didn't give me just all of one thing this time. Or, uh, this is kind of neat surprise. You know, this is a, uh, 2012, I guess. And, I don't know, it looks like, I mean, they're... They're uncirculated, but, you know, they might have been laying around in somebody's collection. They might have sold them back to them or something. I don't know. But this one here looks like a cougar. Or a mountain lion. What do they call them? Felis Conchalor or whatever. The, the black ones, the brown ones, they're all the same. Now, those two are the same. Looks like they're probably the same year. I'm not seeing much uh, wrong with them. I mean, it really... Uh, bright uh shiny fields on these there's i mean i wouldn't call that a cull at all i don't know there might be a little white milk spotting there just a little bit up in the field in the top there but you know there's the different one too another looks like a mountain lion there Four nines, fine. And that one is from 2016. So, I don't know. These will definitely go in a, one of these uh, capsules. And I'll add them to my visual collection. And I've got an extra one here. You know, with a different date. And maybe I can do something special with that. And pass that along in a future giveaway or something. I don't know. But these are, these are pretty nice. You know, I mean, they, they look pretty good. This one's got, I thought that was a privy mark. It is a privy mark right there. I don't know if y'all can see that privy on it, but there's like a, a spot right next to it. So, yeah. Let's see. Got, I'll put that over there. I'll stick this one over here. I'm going to stick it over there. We got room over there. Yeah. Nice. Nice little assortment this time. Uh with the culls. And we got some constitutional here. These should all be the same because that's I ordered dimes, so these dimes I'm trying to cut my finger go ahead and in the comments there sharpen your knife jay 
You're going to cut yourself or hurt yourself. Need to sharpen that knife. Y'all guys with all these fancy knives and stuff and uh, opening things up and, you know, well, there's a big old piece of tape on it right there. That's why, you know, you ever cut through this kind of, this fabric thick garbage tape right here? This stuff here is hard. That's hard on a knife too, man. Cut through that stuff, but uh, if you got a good, yeah, it'll cut through it. But you know, you gotta get the hang hangulation right on it, you know, and uh, so that you can get through there. See, uh, darn near cut right through the bag. Look at that. All right, so we got some mercury dimes here. I got these just, it was, uh, they had some kind of deal going. I think they were under $2 a piece or something. And they're, you know, about what I expected, you know. They're just junk silver. I'll look through the dates here later and bore you with all that. But I, I got a book and I collect these Mercury Dimes too. I try to get all the dates and. If I get a better looking one than others, that's pretty good shape there. It's probably late 40s or something. It looks like a, what, a 41, 45 something. I get my, get my glass here. Can you see it? Can you see me now? Can you see me now? Oh, y'all can probably see it better than me. It looks like a 43. It's a little bit better shape. Yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, it's not impressive or anything. This is about exactly what I thought we were going to get. So, you know, their dimes are dimes. And, you know, some of them will have dents and dings and dirt and all. And they're all circulated. That nurse, she's got a beard. Looky there. Yeah. This is kind of what you get, you know. They're not in horrible shape, but, you know. Not finding these in your pocket change anymore. At least I haven't for I don't know, forty years. They just you just don't see those very often. But uh, hey, that's what we got today. So we scored uh, five ounces of silver uh, with the Libertad and the the Canadian Cats here, and we got uh, we got ten Mercury dimes. That's what was in that pack. So, uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to insert the old, uh, giveaway right here. Good luck, everybody. I love y'all. I uh, hope you win. And if and when you do win, we'll get that shipped out to you as quick as possible. So, on with the drawing footage. All right, I've got... The random comment picker loaded up for the keyword croc. We're going to pick a winner. Daniel K. He commented, congrats on 500. Hope you get to 1,000 soon. Vader over croc. Well, you got the croc, Daniel. So, next we'll do the Vader one. Pause here. Paste the video link in there. Where I go keyword Vader. Continue. Pick a winner. Akadaka Stacker. He's got a croc, so he wants a Vader. Yep. So, Akadaka Stacker, you win the Vader coin. Congratulations, you two. Um, 
I'll be sending an email, or you guys need to uh, check your email. I'll be sending you all an email. Uh, again, as part of the rules, if you don't have an email address, you need to get one uh, connected to your YouTube account in your about section of your channel. If you've, you're here, you got a channel. Uh, you're, you're signed up, whether you knew it or not. You need to check your about section and make sure that the email, uh, you put an email in there. And uh, if you don't have an email, uh, you can email me. Go to my about page. There's an email there. Uh, shoot me a thing. Hey, I don't know how to do this, whatever. I'll talk you through how to hook your email up to your about section. That way we can get your stuff out to you. Let's not make it a complicated deal. I don't want to have to give it away to somebody else. So, uh, you guys, uh, get back in touch with me and, uh, I'll get that shipped out as soon as possible. Uh, I believe, uh, Akadaka Stacker is, uh, from Australia or something. So I'm going to need a really good address <laughs> sending things halfway around the world. Uh, I want it to really get to you. So, uh, I'm in America and, uh, um, uh, you know, I ain't never shipped nothing down there, so, uh, uh, you need to be sure that it, the address you give me can get to Australia from here f with our post office. I mean, that's how it's going to work. So, uh, I, I know that they do that. I do some shipments on eBay and things, so I know it can get there from here. Uh, that sounds stupid, but yeah, hey, you'd be surprised. Anyways. Uh, thanks for watching the video, y'all. Uh, I love y'all. Stay safe. Uh, have a good Christmas season and Happy New Year, Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate. Uh, take care of yourselves and your family. Uh, stay healthy. And remember, there is no greater treasure than that that is being set aside for us in heaven by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And y'all have a blessed day.